hallelujah, we sing praise. are you we worship you in the beauty of holiness in the splendor of your majesty blessed be your name of God Together we grow, together we gain. 
You are, you are great. The things that are written about you is great. I've been singing that song even in my train. I brought that up so sing it together again. And then God has already begun. If you see the numerable number of angels in the house doing tangible things, I don't want you to just sit down and look. I want you to be excited in the presence of the Lord. Jesus is passing by you to do that which he has proposed to do even in this April. In the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at your presence. Can we all be on our feet and we worship the Lord? What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you is great. We'll take it again. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Everything, everything written about you is good. We're going to repeat that one more time. Demons tremble at your presence. you <laughs> 
is great. Demons tremble, demons tremble at your presence. Demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. Everything written about you, everything written about you is great. Great God, great God, great God. You can see and know that it's not your power that has done this. It's not your bank account that has been able to get to this level of victory. It is the Lord and the Lord alone. 
So that is why it's important this morning we realize that the power to become supernatural comes from the, comes from the Holy Spirit. So when we are looking at the we all familiar with the word visible, something that you can see, something that is noticeable, what that is evident. Today, the, the fact that the grave of Jesus is empty is an evidence. So it's a visible proof that Jesus did it. And it's not just evidence, it's a supernatural move that Jesus resurrected after the third day in the grave. It's, it's an evidence. And I pray that God will show you a token of his evidence, supernatural evidence in your life and over your family in the mighty name of Jesus. We're talking about something that is obvious, something that is very clear. There is no ambiguity in it, something that is conspicuous. And that is what you need to know that God can do it, something that is visible. And when we are looking at supernatural, Something that is beyond the proof of science. Science cannot contest about the supernatural. Till today, even though they have been able to discover the planets of the earth, they have not been able to know how the earth came into existence. Because the Bible says, and let there be earth, and there was. It was formed by God's word. So when we are looking at the supernatural, we are talking about you are not able to explain it by science or by nature. It's something that is beyond the nature. It's something, it's a realm. It's a realm in a life that is beyond the nature, it's beyond weaknesses, it's beyond sicknesses, it's beyond. It's another realm. But you know that realm is attainable. Because when the Holy Spirit breathes on you, it can catapult you to that realm. It's not everybody that can benefit from that realm. And I pray that the awesome God will bring you into that new dimension of supernatural, right? When we're talking about the occurrences, it's a month of visible, supernatural, occurrences. Don't join the world to believe that there is no more supernatural move of God's power. But if you believe it, it could be yours. And I pray that you can see it so that you can have it in the mighty name of Jesus. We're talking about the occurrence, we are talking about happenings. About occurrences, we are talking about the manifestation of things. That comes from the realm of the supernatural from the realm of the supernatural. We are talking about events of life. We are talking about occurrences that is going to show how mighty your God is. We are referring to an occurrence and a, a event that will show how, the, how great and how awesome your God is. That when we begin to look at other gods, the Bible says, the songwriter says, every other god, they are what? They are mere gods. And the supernatural thing that we are talking about is the one that emanates from the Spirit of God. An occurrence that is going to happen in your family. And when you look at it, you can say of a truth is okay hand in this matter. When we begin to sing a song, we say, he way, he way. He's not the one in Nemo's tent. He's not the one in any other 
locality in the globe. He is the one. He is the king of kings. And when he does the thing, men stand in amaze of what he can do. And the Bible made us to understand in the book of Genesis, in the book of Exodus, when Moses stood before Pharaoh and brought the rod. And the rod became a snake. Pharaoh said, this, this is too small. I have my magicians that can do it. But you know when God wants to do a thing, to mesmerize men, God was quiet. So go and bring your magicians. And Pharaoh brought his magicians. They began to manifest. Oh, who is he that can manifest? Who is he that can say it when the Lord God Almighty has not ordained it? And you discover as they begin to bring the, their rod, it also becomes a small, 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 small snakes. And the Bible made us to realize the God that ruled from eternity decided to make a proof that he's God. And he's not a man. And he's not a man that can lie. He's a man that there is none on earth that can contest with his authority and with his power. The Bible says the, the, the snake that was empowered supernaturally swallowed the natural snakes. Hallelujah. And that is why I know certain things that are contended with your natural beings. In the realm of the supernatural, they are going to encounter fire. And when they encounter fire, they cannot live. Because the fire of God, when the Bible, the Bible says, God sent fire to Sodom and Gomorrah. Who, did, who, who was the one that escaped? Except you are on the lost side. You can't escape it. We are talking about occurrences that is being empowered by the Spirit of God. Then you will know that it's God. Occurrences that will show that God, you see, Haley, we. Only we what? Only we this year to show that that God is God. Is the one that you are referring to. You know, sometimes we sing a song. We do not even attach. We do not understand the dynamics, the meaning of the songs. But Lord, when we begin to sing, we just sang a song. Say, demon tremble has his feet. Who is demon to contain with the Lord Jesus? If they couldn't contend with him at the grave, who can contend with him in any time? He's the God of the universe. Beloved, I'm here to announce to you that, that if you are connected to that God, you ought not to be ordinary. I remember what happened to Elijah. Elijah said, Kehasi says, <laughs> my master, we are done. We are finished. In 2 Kings chapter 6, if you want to read, go and read from verse 18. A Bible says, when King Syria, the king of Syria, was so furious, who is this prophet? He said, who is he in this camp that will always go and tell the nation of Israel the plot, the secret plot that they have been planning? I'm going to finish that person today. He said, no, there is none among us. There is a prophet. There is a prophet that works in the supernatural. There is a prophet that understands the realm of the supernatural. There is a prophet that whenever you plan your secrets, God in the realm of the spirit, God in the realm of the supernatural has already revealed to the man. I pray that God of heaven will reveal the deep things to you. So when we begin to work, the enemy will know, oh, you have already known what he planned. And if you have already known what the, the enemy has planned towards you, it's already what? It's of no use. It's of no use, of no effect. And the Bible says, the king of Syria went to Elijah and said, I'm going to finish that Elijah. So bring him out. They loaded chariots. They went to Elijah. Elijah was inside the house. 
Kehashi came out and saw chariots. Say, oh, I'm done. I'm going to the master. The master said, do not be afraid. I tell someone, do not be afraid. Amen. Don't be afraid. Fear is torment. Fear is bondage. Fear is what the enemy uses to terrorize you, to defeat you from the place of faith so that he can get the whole of you. And I pray, after today, you will be strong. Amen. The Bible says, you shall be bold as lion. Say the righteous shall be bold as words as lion. And I pray that you will be bold as lion to terrorize the kingdom of darkness because the enemy have not seen anything yet. You are just being created. You are not just you were not created ordinary. You were created to deal with the foundation of the kingdom of darkness to show a manifest wisdom of God our God. So when we are talking about occurrences, I'm not just talking about any happening. I'm talking about something that is real. Talking about something that you need to know. Something that is very great and awesome. In experience that you need to encounter to be able to know. And about as, as I wrap up, and when Elijah came out, he says, he said this once. He said, the God that is with us, who is greater than the one that is with them. And he came out. He just organized him. Say, please, can you follow me? The chariot that we're supposed to deal with, Elisha, they followed him. And they were already blindfolded. They were blind. And put them somewhere and say, okay, can you now, God, open their eyes. And they see. They will, they will, they will mesmerize. I pray that God of heaven will mesmerize your enemy. Yeah. Oh, God. When we are talking about the occurrences, or talking about things that God can do. Oh, I don't know, sometimes you have a God, you don't even realize the God that you have. And I pray to, after today, God will give you a new dimension of who he is to you. Because from the book of Isaiah chapter 40, the Bible says, he is the Lord. If you look at from verse 28, he is the Lord that sits. You know, and it says, the Bible declares that the inhabitants of the earth are as words as grass suppers before him. And who are these inhabitants of the earth that will begin to contend against our God? Who are you? Where were you when God was seated in eternity, the created man in his own image? When we read the Bible declares that this same God, even on the rock, God spoke to Moses. He says, a God that put the water in the rock, the natural eyes couldn't see the water. But supernaturally, the river, the water was hidden in the rock. And the Bible says, Moses, lift up your rod, speak to this rock, and water do what? And water came out. I pray whatever is rocking in your life, the God of heaven will bring beauty out of it. Whatever you've been climbing is like a rock. You've been tired of climbing. The God of heaven will intervene and bring beauty out of it. To the glory of his name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, so what a mighty God we serve. That was the song. What a mighty God we save. Demons tremble at his presence. That is the God I serve. I don't know about you. It's the God that specializes in the supernatural and bring about, oh, it's eternal God. He rules eternally and he rules over the face of the nature and bring about the supernatural power of his greatness into the nature and things begin to take effect. That is God that we are talking about. And I pray that your life, your life, and your destiny will manifest the greatness of a God. Will manifest the akidi, the of God in your life. In the name of Jesus. Say, akidi. What do you think that song? Can we send that? Akidi. Do you know what it is? 
Who knows the meaning of a kidipa? Who can tell us what is the meaning? Too much. Nothing to confess. Nothing to compare. And I pray that God will show you how great and how big it is. Because there is no dimension of how great our God is. Some writer says, how great thou art. How great thou art. That is just a testimony. When you begin to sum it up all together, you don't know how to put it one to plus two. You just discover that the God that you serve is too great. He's too great. Your testimony is not enough of the great things that he has done for you. Quickly, let's move on. How do I know that this God is great? What are the things that I, that brought, that I need to understand that is great? Number one. God, the supernatural occurrences will show an evidence of the almightiness of God. The almightiness of God. When we are talking about the almighty, there is none in between. When we're talking about the almighty, a Bible says, oh Lord, our God, how great thou art. In Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 3 and verse 27, the Bible says, this God, this God, this God, this God is a great God. So there is none, none, none that can be compared with him. Jeremiah chapter, Jer Jer Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 3, verse 17 and 27, you just talk about the same thing. That how our God, how great and how marvelous he is. And I believe sincerely that the reality of Jesus, of the mighty almightiness of his presence and power will be made manifested for you in this month in the name of Jesus. Talking about, say, behold, I'm the Lord God. Say, the God of all flesh. Who, whether in America, in Africa, Indonesia, the God of all flesh. And it's the one that says, is there anything too hard for me to do? Bible said with God, nothing shall be impossible. That is the God. And that is the realm I want you to operate. Not a rain that somebody comes to you and you say, I am finished, like Kehasi. You need to know the God that you serve. I pray that God will open our eyes to see him as who he is. That is more than what you can ever qualify him to be. That this God will show you his almightiness. No, no, let, let, in the Bible talks about in John chapter 2. Tell me, how do you describe the God that says stone water into a pot? And the same God that says go and get that water to the king. He didn't test whether it was wine or sea water. It was just the spoken word. And I pray as you obey God. The Lord will transform you to the realm of the supernatural. And the things that will used to be impossible before you become possible. The things that are contended with your inheritance, your health, will become, you, you know, they will bow. In the name of Jesus. That is God. That is God. He knows what breweries are using ours, you know, to produce wine. When the realm of the spirit, nothing else matters. It's just a matter of one second. I pray your struggle in the natural will end. Amen. The supernatural will set in Amen. for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That is the almightiness of the Lord. And when God does a thing, he does things that minds of men 
will not be able to be able to, to dissect the puzzles. Men will be cracking their brains. How manage? He says, the king said, where did you keep this best wine all the while? It was supernaturally supplied. And when it's supernaturally supplied, it's the best. Because the natural supply cannot contest with the supernatural. I pray you will walk in the realm of the supernatural. Because the inheritance that God has given unto us. And I pray the Lord will lead you there. In the mighty name of Jesus. The visible supernatural occurrences that will prove how reliable the reliability of God's word in your life. And when it happens, say God has spoken it. And it is what? It is done. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 8, 8 verse 4. So where the word of the Lord is, where the word of the king is, there is power. And I come to realize what men are struggling with, God doesn't struggle. What men are using muscles to do, God doesn't use muscles. That is why when I know, when your wife or your husband is not behaving well, and you're beginning to use muscles, you are just biting in the air, you are just fighting in the air. Please, go into the supernatural. That is where you can win the battle of life. Stop fighting at home. It's of no consequence. You are complicating matters for yourself. Because the Bible says, where the word of the Lord is, there is power. And God, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, that the air without was without form. And he said, the, Holy, the spirit of God did what? Over us. What brings about the realm of the supernatural is the power of the Holy Ghost. And that is why you need to be connected to it. You need to be connected to the power of the Holy Ghost. You cannot survive. Except you want to be working in the flesh. And the Bible says something. In the book of Psalm 119 verse 89. It said, forever, O Lord, your word is what? Is settled. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 17. Can we look at the NLT? Hebrews chapter 6 verse 17. The Bible says that the word of God is sharp. The word of God is powerful. It's sharper than to a sword. It's able to penetrate um, every barrier. When the word of God goes in, there is an express way. The Bible says, and God also bound himself with an oath, so that those who received the promise could be what? Could be perfectly sure that he would never do what? Concerning the word of God, God cannot change his mind. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 55, it says the word of God goes forth, he cannot return empty until he has accomplished the things that he has been written. You know, we just sang a song. It said the things that were written about God is all great. His death was great. His death was great. His promises were great. What is written about you is also all great. Irrespective of what you are saying and whatever you are seeing at the moment. I pray you that you will, you will look beyond your circumstances and begin to see the greatness and, de- and launch into this realm of the supernatural and see what God has for you. That the word, the word of God cannot change in your days. It's it the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. It's powerful. It's sure. It's certain. That is the word of God. For you. And next point is the reliability of the resurrection of Jesus. The reality of the victory over the dead and the grave. Beloved, let me let you understand something. 
If you go to the Buddhists, they will go and show you the grave of their leaders. And they would put all manners of flower around it. There is a grave. If you go to Islam, they will talk about let prophet who? Muhammad, who died. Until today, they still have a grave position. He has never risen. But what the Lord has done that has astonished men, whether white or black, what God has done has astonished scientists is the fact that when Jesus died, he says on the third day, because things that were written about him on the third day that will build this kingdom again. And the Bible says on the third day, he resurrected. And when he resurrected, the power of grave couldn't hold him captive. That is the occurrence that has mesmerized men to today. And this is the hope that we have as believers. That we have a God that rules over the face of man. The one that can die. The one that can resurrect himself. By the power of the supernatural. And has given that supernatural power to his own. And that is why. You cannot remain the same. The Bible says that the endless creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Another reality, another realization of whatever occurrence it is, is the fact that you are a sonship. The reality of sonship. You are a son. And that is what the Bible says. The creation is waiting for your manifestation. And you will manifest. I'm here to celebrate with you. I'm here to celebrate with your family. I'm here to celebrate with your life. Beloved, maybe you are here new for the first time. You discover that we celebrated some people. We celebrate them when they are alive. Because God in their life is great. And that is why we are here this moment. To also celebrate Jesus through our praise. Our Bible declares in the book of Psalm 22, verse 23, verse 3, Bible says, God inhabits the praises of his people. Can we be on our feet? We don't have time to continue. But one thing you need to realize, when the supernatural occurrence takes place, it will demonstrate the almightiness of God. It's going to demonstrate the, res death, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, the victory over the cross. It's going to resurrect. It's going to demonstrate, yes, and convince you that you are a son. You are meant to manifest his glory as a son. The Bible made us to understand. Or when you discover that, elephant give birth to elephant. Goat, give birth to goat. Animals give birth to animals. But the Bible said we were created in God's image. And God gave birth to us. So who are you like? Ooh. And that is why the whole earth is waiting for your manifestation. The word of God cannot be broken for your sake. Choir, please, can you help me? Let's take that song again. Great. The enemy is in trouble this month. Oh, Jesus. That is who you are. Mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Can we begin to sing that as sons in the kingdom? Everything that's written about you shall also be great. Shall also come to pass. Hallelujah. Mare. Oh, mighty God. Glory, 
glory. Hallelujah. Everything written about you is great. You are great. You are great. You are great. By a hold on a minute, lift up your hands and ask the Lord this day. We are tired of being operating in the realm of the natural. Say, Lord Jesus, please launch me into the realm of the supernatural. That there be a proof that you are with me. Do something in my life that the pursuits of man will be of none effect. The Bible says in John chapter 2, beginning from verse 43 and 44. So when Lazarus, Jesus came to Lazarus after four days, decay. The Bible says, Father, I thank you because you always hear me. Say, Lazarus, come forth in the realm of the supernatural. The natural take effect. And Lazarus came forth. Man, the apostle of man, the medical report that when you cannot breathe for 30 minutes, your brain, you, you have a brain dump. All that was proven otherwise by the power of the supernatural. Just speak to the Lord that the Lord will cause the things that are tormenting you for the apostle of Jesus to set in. I can't the natural apostle of your life. Father, we stand and ask, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. I want you to just lift up your right hand right now. I'm tired of operating in the natural. God will say, he will tell you the way that you should go. Say, this is the way what that we need. You can only hear him. We will come back. Maybe one of these days I will talk to you, tell you more about it. But there is visible supernatural occurrences and it must happen in your life. Father, we agree with heaven today that though we are on the earth, we tap into the realm of the supernatural. We decree over our lives that our lives will no longer be ordinary. Our lives will not only end in the natural. We ask, oh God, that the spirit, the supernatural will take effect in our lives that will prove Currencies, the events of our lives. Lord, that you catapult us to the realm of the supernatural. In the name of Jesus. The portion of lives that we have not been able to provide solution. The portion of lives that we are not been able to provide solution in our marriages. The portion of lives that we have not been able to provide solution for our children. From today, from today, as you reveal yourself to Elijah, I pray that you reveal yourself to us by your spirit. Lord, even in our dreams, even as we walk on the road, even as we drive in our cars, even in our homes, take us beyond where we are in the name of Jesus. Let the fullness of your presence be with us. And we celebrate you. If by adventure you are here, it's a high moment. You continue to walk in the natural. You cannot attain much. But you want to surrender yourself to Jesus. All eyes closed, all hands down. Can you lift up your hands now? I want to pray with you. I want to surrender your life to Jesus. 
because he's going to take you to the realm of the supernatural. And he will catapult you. Father, thank you for these things. Yes, Lord, we thank you for these things. Thank you for these things. Thank you, Father, for these things. Lord, I pray, oh God, for this time right now. That, Lord, let your hand be upon them. Let the supernatural hand be upon them. Lord, give them the reason of their new birth in Christ. In the name of Jesus. We ask that the Lord would write your name in the book of life. And the new season of your supernatural has just begun. The Lord be with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can remain standing. We go ahead straight away to our thanksgiving. Beloved, what the Lord has done for me and you, we cannot keep quiet. Going to dance, going to rejoice. You are alive today. It's just by God's grace. Uh, it might not always, you know, even though the victory has not blown some, but one thing I know, God has a plan for you and I. So I want you to rejoice before your maker. Just rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Let's go ahead and worship him. Hallelujah. We want to dance unto the Lord this morning as we give him. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Please, ushers, let's make it snappy. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. To be praised. You are worthy to be I want to, to see your dancing oh shoes. I want you to keep it to the Lord. Oh my Lord, you are worthy. Amen. Amen. You know, the things of the supernatural cannot be understood in the realm of the natural. So I want you to give God a supernatural high praise and thanksgiving today. I want to thank God for what he has done. Thank him for what he's going to do yet in your life. And I want you to want you to walk around. As somebody that you not understand the mightiness of God, the reliability of God's word, and the resurrection power, I want you to do it with all of your heart. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be lifted up. Oh my Lord, you are worthy.
that we did, we just managed because maybe it was money that was concerned. But I'm going to give God my heart. Hallelujah. So in the next six minutes, I want you to do something that you have not done before. I want you to march out. If you, this is, this is targeted thanksgiving to God. Targeted worship to God. For you for God to catapult you into the realm of the supernatural. So you will walk out from your seat. It's prophetic. As you are walking out, you will never remain the same. Amen. You will never be at the same position Amen. anymore. The Bible says, God specifically told the children of Israel to walk around the wall of Jericho. It was prophetic. They moved and God moved. They moved and God moved. And they moved, the Jericho fell down flat without touching it. That is this, what the supernatural can do. I want us to, from our heart, forget about the money. Forget about everything. Forget about your circumstances. I want you prophetically, I want you to give God worship. I want you to give God worship. I want to God I want you to give God worship, please. I want you to lead us specifically in this session. It's, it's prophetic. God specifically wants us to do this. And your life, your family, your marriage will never be the same again. Amen. I want you to watch free. I want you to walk up here, dance before the maker who created you. And God will be praised. Amen.
Jesus. Mary. Master of the universe, emperor and king. Woo. He's the master of the universe. universe, emperor and king. You are the head of our principalities. You are the head of our powers. You are the head of our rulers. You are the master. Hallelujah. I will enter his gates with my laughter. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I will enter his gates with my clapping. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Hey. Yeah, hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Hey. Yeah, hallelujah. Hey. Jehovah, 
jobs, Lord. We will wonder, Baba. You will make a way where there seems to be no way. Wonder, Baba. You will heal diseases, Lord. People, they wonder, Baba. back to your seat, wherever you are, wherever you are, if you can, can you kneel down before your maker? Let's give him the honor that he deserves, he's worthy of our praise, he's worthy to be glorified, he's the Lord that we honor, only you alone we will serve, just begin to ascribe glory, ascribe greatness to our God, who rule in infinite wisdom and power and dominion and authority in him. There is no parableness with him. He's the Lord of all earth. He's the maker of the heavenlies. He's the maker of man. He's the one that has kept us alive. Let's appreciate him in worship. We worship you, our maker, our redeemer, our soon coming king, the Lord that cannot fail, the one that cannot disappoint. We honor your name. You are all, you are glorious. You are powerful. You are far beyond rumish. We honor you. We honor you. The giver of life. The, take, the one that took away our sicknesses. And now by the cross of Calvary. And giving us victory. We give you praise, our God. Say so you are worthy. 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 The one that have kept us in the marketplace, the one that have kept our homes, the one that have kept our children from the one. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you for pregnant women that you have sustained pregnancy. Thank you, oh God, for the womb that I'm not giving birth, that is ready to give birth. We want to thank you, oh God. Worship you, our Father, because there is no infallibility with your word. Lord, we honor your name. Your name be glorified. Do you, Lord? Do you, Lord? We are the honor. Do you, Lord? We are the glory and adoration forevermore. Father, as your servants, we kneel before your throne today in proclamation that you are the Lord of our lives and that in your realm there is no impossibility. And so, Father, as many that have come to worship you, Bible says you seek for those that will worship you in spirit and in truth. Father, today, I declare as many that are in house of praise today, that affliction is far from you. Amen. The God whom you worship, we take away affliction. Amen. We take away pain. Amen. We take away sorrow. Amen. We take away season of weeping from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As many that are having incurable sicknesses in their body, I declare that the supernatural power of Jesus that resurrected Lazarus from the grave will cause every incredible sickness in your life to die. Amen. And you are set free. Amen. You are set free. Amen. Bible said, if the son Jesus has set you free, you are free indeed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. this month, what you will encounter in your lives will be supernatural occurrences. This month, the things that you have struggled will come easy for you. This month, 
sorrow and tears that are dwelling in your tabernacle have been replaced with shout of joy. Shout of joy. Shout of joy. I declare over your children, they will move from strength to strength. You will not bury any. You will not sorrow over any. Even those one in the womb. I decree, from this tabernacle, there shall be no stillbirth. Every witchcraft of stillbirth, I judge you in the name of Jesus. You have no dominion over us. The womb that are never conceived will conceive. Jobs and favor that have been far away from us. Father, this month supernaturally we call them food. And we begin to walk into them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Redeemer. Glory, honor, power majesty dominion be ascribed unto you our lord in the name of jesus go and operate and live in the realm of the supernatural god be with you and because god will do is with you nobody will stand in your way so shall it be Father, as many, oh God, that have given you a token of appreciation. Father, this month, in increase, you will increase them. In multiplication, you will multiply them. They will never lack. Glory be to your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we give him praise. Let the church shout hallelujah. Let's share the grace together with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. We will go together, we will grow together, we will gain together, and we will glow together to the glory of his name, in Jesus' name. See you in communion service next Tuesday. Tuesday is communion. Please don't miss it. It's a communion of the supernatural. Come and be blessed.